Yeah, well, I watched it a couple of times, Paul, and um, for me, Connor Golson, um, arms or are, are hands are in an unnatural position, and if it strikes his hand there, I, I, th I thought it was a, a penalty, and I think Rangers have got away with one there. Um, I know that's going to be the talking point. I thought the second half, the Rangers' point of view, was, was really good in terms of the way they approached the game. Um, but if you're asking my honest opinion, Paul, strikes Connor Golson hand there, I, I, I thought straight away, yep, penalty. Well, we, we said this before the game, we, we didn't want to be in this situation, right? But the, the, the problem is, it's clear and obvious, it's, it's hit his arm. Natural, Paul, <clears throat> natural, your arms are by your side. Unnatural is when your hands are up in the air. It's hit his hand, how on earth the penalty is not given, I will never, ever know. So, uh, listen, I don't want to get myself... Sure. I've spoken yeah. about this before. Yeah. Um, we're all thinking in you, it's a penalty. You know, where's John Beaton's position? You know, is his positioning right? All right, you can say he missed it. But then Willie Collum, who's in charge of the VAR, how many times did you have to see it? Uh, I, I'm not making excuses. Rangers were very good today, especially in the second half. They got the noses in front. You know, really, really good goal from, from Ryan Kent. And they'll probably feel aggrieved that they, they didn't hold on to win the game. But that decision to not give Celtic a penalty for a handball by Ryan Go uh, by, by Goldson is um, it's actually embarrassing. It really is embarrassing that officials cannot see that.